intelligent composable supply chains. Here today to talk about that is Rohit Tripathi, Principal CTO Office at Grid Dynamics. Hello, Rohit. Nice Hi, to meet you. Hi, Helen. Thank you nice for joining here. us here. Yeah. So, Rohit, tell us what is an intelligent composable supply chain? Uh, intelligent uh, composable supply chain is about embracing heterogeneity in technology, in data sources, and making sure that the customers are able to keep up with the pace of differing pace of innovation at layers of supply chain, especially when it comes to addressing resiliency. So when you say heterogeneity, you mean you know that you embrace all these different kinds of, uh, of approaches to supply chain? What, what exactly do you mean? Uh, that and more. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you think of resiliency, and everybody started talking about heterogeneity in terms of your manufacturing location, mm -hmm. in terms of your supplier base. Mm -hmm. Similarly, uh, I believe that it needs to be heterogeneity in your technology landscape ah. as well. Right, so, so if you're diversifying in your supply in your suppliers, that's right. you need to be looking at how you're diversifying, where you get your technology from, what you use it for. Is that right? That is correct. Right. And, and moving away from that whole single monolith approach of like, this is the one stop shop, you know, type thing right. to like, you know, embracing, you know, somewhat different solutions because your different layers of supply chain will have different levels of innovation and different needs. So Rohit, how do you recommend companies get started on this journey of, of, of a composable heterogeneic uh, heterogeneous, excuse me, uh, supply chain and technology approach. So I think a lot of the uh, the customers that I interact with are somewhat already on that journey. But the starting point always has to be, uh, you know, uh, an as is situation assessment, right. where you are, right? Like in your landscapes today, yes. and what that by that I mean, you have to look at different layers. If you look at where are you in your cloud modernization layer. Where are you in your data layer, you know, your data meshes? Right. Where are you in your systems of differentiation, like, you know, inventory planning, demand planning, uh, transportation, logistics? And then where are you in your systems of innovation, like AI, ML driven capabilities? So I think they have to look at that as is assessment. But the fundamental thing has to be starting from cloud modernization and getting your data stack right because uh -huh. everything builds on top of it. Cloud modernization and getting your data stack right. That yes. sounds like very good advice uh, because you know, I'm sure you're aware, a lot of practitioners in this industry are still relying on Excel spreadsheets. How do you get, how do you, uh, how do you uh, get off the addiction to Excel spreadsheets? Do you have any advice? So look, Excel is a great tool, right? right? And, and my thing is that like, if you're a startup, you better be doing your supply chain on Excel and not <laughs> investing all the money in big complex software, sure. right? But as you evolve, you need to get away from that tool. It's almost like you have to unlearn that skill, yeah. right? And, and I think the first thing for that is actually getting the element of, you know, asking the questions uh, and getting comfortable in asking those questions in more analytics, in more dashboard driven cultures right, right? and yeah. then the second part which comes is um, actually and this is what i say is leadership and governance if you as the ceo or the chief supply chain officer will start all meetings and discussions by looking into your tools and not by looking and staring into a powerpoint or an excel huh. you will drive that culture that's great piece of advice thank you so do you see this whole business of intelligent composable solutions being offered in other areas? Are there uh, analogies in other industries? Uh, yes. Uh, and you have to understand like why, why my thing of intelligent composable capabilities? Because there was the wave of hyperscalers and cloud, mm -hmm. right? And everybody has embraced it, right? And now we have to make sure that you're using that platform to your advantage. Right. So, the one big area where we've already seen a lot of success is in the area of e-commerce. So solutions like Headless Commerce or the Mark Alliance clearly are examples of where industries have embraced this uh -huh. and been successful. Can you tell me a little bit more about what those are? So uh, in, in case of e-commerce, right, like, or the Mac Alliance, which builds upon the ability of microservices, cloud platforms, you know, APIs, 
and then of course not relying on just one vendor right or headless and sure. so that's, that's what, what you mean is. by headless okay. and then it brings it together right yes. like, and then it makes it customized for each uh, you know sort of each, not just each industry but then for each customer sure because your supply chain will be unique for each purchasing event even. that is right right yeah, yeah that is right that's fantastic. So, so tell me a little bit about Grid Dynamics and what you do and how you're exploiting the opportunities of the, the intelligent composable supply chain. So Grid Dynamics is, is, a, is a digital native technology consulting company. By what that uh, mean is that like we are born in the cloud. Yep. Uh, we are the technology consulting partner for the Fortune 1000. And uh, we provide uh, engineering and technology consulting services. Uh, to clients all around. Uh, there are four big blocks in which we focus on. Mm -hmm. uh, first is of course, you know, your cloud modernization, uh, microservices, microservices architecture driven capabilities, then data structures, mm -hmm. uh, getting your data strategy right. And then of course, helping you build AI ML driven systems of differentiation on top of that. Wow, so uh, pretty advanced stuff. Uh, it is advanced stuff uh, and we pride on solving uh, really hard problems but more importantly what we pride on is making sure that we deliver real value to our customers hmm. ours uh, our approach is less about uh, you know how big of a team and how long of an engagement it is more about how much of an impact we can deliver to our customers right so we focus on that uh, as opposed to trying to like you know be all and end all for everything right that's fantastic thank you so much Thank you. I've been joined by Rohit Tripathi from Grid Dynamics. Thank you for watching.